Hey everyone, welcome back. And in this video, I'm going to show how you can troubleshoot your Pabli Connect workflows. So guys, many users find this difficult to trace the fault and the errors they are getting in their workflows while they execute the automation or the automation get executed in real time. Okay. So here, let me show you how you can trace out the faults or the errors that you're getting in your way in your workflows. So guys, this is a workflow I have created for uh, 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 an automation and here you can see our workflows are based on the trigger and the action thing. Okay, so as you can see here, this workflow is going to trigger that means uh, start this workflow whenever a new row is added or updated in Google Sheets application. Okay, so I connected Google Sheets here in the trigger. And according to this trigger, what will happen automatically? A WhatsApp message is going to be delivered and an email will be delivered. Okay. So as a row is added here, a WhatsApp message and an email will be delivered automatically. Okay. That's what we want. So now guys, let's try to run this workflow. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to add a new row in the, in a spreadsheet that I have connected here. So guys, this is actually a spreadsheet I have connected in this workflow. So here what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a new row. I'll add a name of a person, his email ID and the WhatsApp number. And we are going to see uh, if our email will be delivered to that uh, e email account and a WhatsApp message is going to be delivered automatically or not via this workflow. Okay. And we are going to see if we receive any error and if we receive any error, we'll try to solve it. We'll try to trace out the error first. Okay. So uh, here, let me fill in the name of the person as this, the email address as this, all right. And finally, I'm going to enter the WhatsApp number here. Alright, so I have entered the details here. Now, uh, our workflow is according to, uh, according to our workflow. As I enter a row here, our workflow should execute and we are, we, will, we are going to receive a WhatsApp message and an email at this address. Okay, so let's check my WhatsApp first. So this is the WhatsApp account and we didn't receive any message right now. And let us check the email and account as well. So this is my email inbox and you can see there is no message. This, there is no email I received till now. Okay. So this means there should be any issue or any error that we have received in the workflow because we have, we have not received the WhatsApp message and the email as well. Okay. So let's check our workflow. What, what is the issue? So guys, this is our workflow. And now we want to do what happened, why it didn't run. Okay. So for that to check, first of all, you have to click on this history section here and the history section, you will see the previous executions of your workflow. Okay. How many times your workflow got executed and if not, what happened? And you can see there is no task history. That means this workflow is not executed at all. Okay. That means this workflow didn't run. So, uh, now why it didn't run? What can be the possible reasons for this to happen? So you can see we have connected Google sheets first in the trigger. So when it will show you in the history like this, that this workflow didn't got executed, uh, even at once. So the reason can be the trigger didn't fired. Okay. So when there is no task history, this means there is something wrong with the trigger. Okay. Because the trigger, because the workflow didn't got even started. Okay. So there is uh, something wrong with this trigger. Let's check what can possibly go wrong here. So we have connected Google sheets here. The trigger event was this. Okay. And we have properly made a connection. Now you can check this instructions list. So what can happen? You can see, first of all, you have to install an add on in your pab in your spreadsheet, which is called Pavli Connect Webhooks. After that, you have to go to the initial setup of that add on and paste this webhook URL. Okay. So if you want to see how to make these connections, you can check our other videos. 
where you can learn how you can set up this connection and how you can make workflows right now i'll be focusing on the error thing so so guys to make the connection with google sheets here in the trigger step you need to follow these instructions written here so you can check the instructions one by one and check out if uh, you have missed any of this these steps so you can see first of all you need to uh, go to your spreadsheet and you have to install an add-on in your spreadsheet which is called public connect webhooks and after that from the extensions option you have to go to the initial setup and you have to paste this webhook url that you got in the initial setup there okay so you can check if you have pasted this webhook url cor correctly or not okay and to check that what you have to do you just have to copy this webhook url from here and then go back to your spreadsheet and in this spreadsheet you can see when you install this public connect webhook option uh, you have to click on extensions and from this add-ons and by clicking on get add-ons you can uh, install this uh, add-on let me show you so i click on get add-ons and from here you can search for public connect webhooks okay and you can see this add-on is already installed here okay that means there is no issue here we have installed the add-on all right after that when you click on extensions you will find this public connect webhooks option here if you have installed this add-on otherwise it it will it won't show here right and from here you you have to click on initial setup to paste the webhook url okay and here you can see a webhook url is already pasted here and the trigger column as well now we are going to check if this webhook url is exactly the same as we have copied it here or we have pasted something wrong here so to check that you have to use your keyboard and from your keyboard press here control plus f press control plus f and this kind of small window will open up here here you can see a small window will open up and here you have to paste the webhook url this webhook url okay copy this url and paste it here and you can see it has find out the same exact string of this data in this page and you can see it is showing here like this in this highlighted tone in orange color okay this means the uh, webhook url that you have copied from your workflow is already pasted here and it is exactly the same okay so this means there is no issue in the webhook url thing we have pasted the correct webhook url so this is the first thing you can check all right so initial setup is good now what other thing you can check you can just read the instructions and see uh, ensure the trigger column value okay and here you can see in this step all right so after after setting up the initial setup you have to click on extensions menu and you have to choose the event when the webhook should send data okay from the extensions menu you have to choose the event when the webhook should send the data so let's let us check if we have selected the event or not so it, it is my spreadsheet and i'm going to click on extensions and from public connect webhooks you can see we haven't selected the event here and you can see from this uh, public connect webhooks option we have this send on event option this means whenever i add a new row that is going to send this webhook data or you can schedule the data flow from your spreadsheet to public connect you can send custom data that means you can select the data range and you can send it to your workflow and if you want to send all the data you just have to click here check this option all right so we have forgot forgotten to select the uh, event on which we want to send the data so generally uh, i use send on event option because here you can see in our workflow it has written here i want to trigger this workflow when a new row is added or updated okay so whenever I, a new row is added here i want to send the data for that to happen you have to select this event you just have to click on the send on event button okay so that was the problem and that is stopping this workflow to, to run so we have resolved one issue here okay now let us uh, perform the automation again let's add another row so i'm adding another row here the name of the person is this 
let me copy this email address for now okay and let the number be also the same because I am just showing you the demo all right so I have added another row now uh, the workflow should be uh, uh, working right now okay and we have to receive some kind of message on this whatsapp account and our email also on this email id so you can see we didn't receive the whatsapp message right now so there is another issue this means we have another issue in our workflow so to check that what is the issue let's go back to our workflow all right so this is our workflow now i'm going to click on history again to check if this workflow got executed or not so i'm clicking on history and you can see the workflow got executed but here in the task status you can see this workflow got partially failed okay so it failed to perform partially right so this means we have an error now to check that what has happened you just have to click on this task history id click on this task history id and here you can see the trigger got executed properly but there is an error in uh, this step cloud api step and it is showing click here to view failed reason and there is an error in this uh, step also failed okay so you just click here and you will find this data in and data out section so first of all click on data in and it will show you the data your workflow has received from the previous steps it is showing the data like this so this is the data that it has received that i have entered in my spreadsheet and it's saying the email and all the things and in the data out you can see this is an error message unsupported post request okay unsupported post request and this is a error code and this is a kind of error you can check here in this c in this uns uh, error message it is written object with the id does not exist okay phone number id does not exist cannot be loaded due to missing permissions or does not support this operation please re read the graphic api documentation okay so this means what i can grab grasp from here that there is some issue with the phone number that's it okay there is some issue with the phone number so you can check if the phone number is correct or not okay or you can what you can uh, uh, what other thing you can do you can just take the screenshot is of this problem and you can reach out to the pably connect team on forum.pably.com this one forum.pably.com you can reach here with your query with your screenshot and you can ask your question here in this forum and pably connect team will connect to you they will resolve their issue you can share your problem you can share your workflow as well and they'll design your workflow accordingly okay so if you cannot find out if you cannot resolve the issue issue you can share it with our team okay and here let's check what is the uh, problem in this step also and here it is showing this error code the data in is this and in the data out section it is showing this is error message code is 401 and request is missing required authentication credentials so when you got this type of issue this means you need to make the connection again with your Google, uh, with your gmail application okay from which you're sending the email you have to make the connection again here so this issue is for that credentials missing that means we have to make the connection again okay and for this error i can i cannot show you how to resolve this but i can uh, you can ask this question here in the forum link so that's how you can trace out the errors inside public connect and if you can resolve some issues you can resolve it by yourself and if you cannot resolve it you can ask your questions in forum section right so this is how you can trace the errors and trace the faults inside Pabli connect so guys sometimes uh, these kind of issues uh, can uh, can occur when we have something uh, related to the connections that we have made with our application so let's uh, you can what you can do after uh, watching this after seeing these errors you can make the connections again you can go to your workflow 
and you can see in the second step where we have connected WhatsApp's cloud API. Uh, you have we have already connected you can check our other videos on how to make a connection so just click on this connected button again and from this uh, window you can make the connection again by selecting add new connection option and fill in these the three things again so take so to make a proper connection all right and after that you can make the connection again so let me fill in these three things and let me make a connection again then let we'll check what will what what happens okay so i have all, uh, i have made the connection again with whatsapp cloud api now let me come back to the third step and from here i'm going to click on connected again and here i'm going to make the connection with gmail by using this add new connection option okay so we are connecting it again just click on connect with gmail all right select the google account by which gmail account by which you want to send those emails okay then provide the additional access to public connect to make this connection just click on continue all right and you can see we are connected again right now uh, let us perform this workflow again so here we have made the connections again and resolved the issues now i'm coming back to my spreadsheet and here let me fill another row this is the number this is the name of the person to whom we want to send a email okay and here let me fill in the whatsapp number to send a whatsapp message right and we have entered the things now let's check first whatsapp if we have received a whatsapp message and you can see we have received the message finally and the message is this hi harish thakur your lead has been created with the following details this is a whatsapp message that we wanted to send and we have received it okay automatically now let us check the email inbox as well and this is the email we have received automatically and you can see this is the data hi harish thakur this is the a uh, new lead created with following details so this is the automated email that we want to send that we got here so this is how you can resolve a uh, issue inside your workflow guys and you can correct your workflows and trace out your faults guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel